Lick number 28, Buchanan Bent. This is another Roy Buchanan-inspired lick, and it's going to show off his really unique way of bending double stops on the guitar. Let's take a look at this lick. Alright, so on this lick, we're, uh, it's a turnaround lick, um, and it's kind of inspired by Roy Buchanan's way of bending double stops. Um, he has this really cool way of bending double stops um, that uh, really nobody was doing before him, um, as far as I know. Um, so what we're doing is we're in A, and we're starting up at the top of the neck here, and I'm basically aiming for this shape, the C-sharp and A. And that's a sixth interval, okay? And that's giving me the third and the root of the A. Uh, and what Roy Buchanan would usually do is he would start a whole step lower and bend into that note. And that really gives you that steel sound when you have one note that's uh, not changing, that's just staying the same, um, and you have another note that is moving. You have this oblique motion going on. Okay, then we're going to walk that down, that's something that steel players can do because they you know, do it with their feet and they have the slide that doesn't move. Um, guitar players normally don't do those kind of bends. Um, uh, not too much before uh, players like Clarence White and Roy Buchanan. Um, so you have that, and we're going to move that down a whole step. And this is going to let us get the B and G, which is going to be the 9 and the flat 7 in A. And then I'm dropping down to the G and E, which is just the flat 7 and the root. No bend there. But then we're going to come down to the uh, fifth and third. And this is really cool. What we're going to do is we're going to back up this third finger with the other two fingers back here. And we're going to lead this bend with the pinky. So I'm going to make this high string bend a half step from C sharp to D. And my G string is going to bend a whole step. And you're never going to get it perfect, but you can get it really darn close. Um, the trick is just kind of going for it and leading with the pinky. But So without bending, it should sound like this. Okay? And that's a bend that I've never heard anyone do before uh, Roy Buchanan. Bending sixes like that and getting those different intervals. People were doing that with thirds, but never with sixes like that. So then we're going to drop down to our D and B. And then we're going into our one chord. So the turnaround is finished. Uh, we're leading back into the one. I'm sliding into the A, which is the fifth of our one chord, which is D in this key. And I'm going to be kind of spelling out this D chord shape. So I have my A, my D, and then reaching back with the first finger for the E. When I play that E, I'm bending it up a whole step to meet the third. And there's some more of that oblique motion we were talking about that pedal steel players can uh, do really easily, but on guitar it's a little bit more work. And just pulling that straight down until it sounds a whole step higher. And if you want to really get fancy, you can throw in the volume knob there. And you'll really get it to sound like a steel. Um, so, and this is one of the many things that uh, Roy Buchanan was able to do on Telecaster. That, uh, inspired a ton of uh, great players. Um, he's the reason that Danny Gatton ended up switching from a Les Paul to a Telecaster, so we have him to thank for that. Um, but all these great pedal steel approaches and volume swells and tone swells and lap steel approaches um, and his great blues guitar playing, um, he's really a guy that contributed a lot to country guitar playing and is really worth checking out.